He's a playground favourite, Mr. Tim Logan! <laughs> Too much to drink there. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, first of all, just want to say to Chop, uh, son of a bitch, I'm going to stop writing my new material at bus stops. <laughs> it's all my best stuff gone. Uh, for those that don't know me, um, yeah, good day, my name's Tim. I'm very upbeat. I think I'm an upbeat person. I think it's all about perspective. All right? Uh, perspective is very important in life. And, and it's just, for instance, for instance, just try to say, uh, I'm, I'm very lucky. I'm very happy and, and, and I consider myself very lucky. I, for instance, I wasn't abused when I was a child. Wasn't molested at all. This is good. Could have been. Wasn't. I went to Catholic school, had a priest, nothing happened. Most people don't think about that. They just go, oh, I'm going to school and a priest and he did a bit of that. Oh, well, it's unfortunate. Um, what about you? No, that didn't happen. Well, you don't think about that every day though, do you? Think about it, it gives you perspective. Had a priest, nothing happened, nothing, nothing, no fiddling, nothing, it's good. So I remind myself of that, oh, it's raining today. Wasn't touched though. That's true, brain, thanks. Happy, 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 right? And I really liked lollies when I was quite young. When I was like nine years old, I really, really liked lollies. So if a van had pulled up and a guy, um... thank you, sir. <laughs> it's really unfortunate when a family shows up and has a go at you. Um, unless you'd like to, I'll just, I'll just continue. Yep. Okay. Good. So uh, if a van had pulled up and the guy had actually said, you know, hello, hello, little boy. There's uh, lots of lollies in the back of the van. Why don't you hop in? I would have been in. I would have gone in the van, just like that. Like, before you could even say stranger danger, I'm in that fucking van. That's just the truth. And now, I shouldn't even be saying this because there might be one of those guys here tonight with a time machine, and now he's going, fucking Tim Logan, right, hunt him down. That's a time machine, maybe. I don't know. But it never really happened, it never really happened. And it wasn't that I was stupid at all, I was quite smart. Um, I would have known what was going to happen. You know, it would have been, hey, little boy. Lots of lollies in the back of the van. Why don't you hop in? You guys are going to molest me and stuff, aren't you? What kind of lollies? <laughs> Too many redskins in there? Make it an hour, because last time my mum was pissed. It's like all night. Questions. <clears throat> Good. It's a bit dark. Perspective. Remind yourself of the perspective, and it's all happened. I do, I do still like lies, as the man pointed out. It's quite funny. Maybe, maybe you should be a comedian. Probably not, dickhead. Okay, good. Um, get that over with. I, I do. I still enjoy lollies. My favourite lollies are uh, milk bottles, pineapples, and, and the strawberries and cream ones. I really, they're my three favourite. But if I go to the lolly shop, like the one in North Hobart, that's quite nice. I'll get a mixed lolly bag, a bag of mixed lollies. Even though I hate most of the lollies. I'll do it time and time again. Every time I go, why am I doing this? Why don't I just get it to pick out the ones that I want? I'm paying for it, I can do what I want. No, 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 oh, the mixed bag, because even though I don't like most of them, the three I do like taste even better because of the majority that I hate. And this is how I feel about old people. <laughs> Essentially. It's the same thing. Most of them are, are, are bitter and smelly, but the nice and sweet ones are even better because of the majority. That's how it works. Which brings me to the Nana Nap phenomenon. It's a phenomenon, yeah. It strikes me that Nana Naps would be better if they actually involved a Nana. <laughs> Stay with me, what I'm suggesting is a service, right? You call toll free, right? You organize a Nana to be delivered to your home or office and then you have a nap on the Nana. <laughs> They bring their own chair, recliner, maybe a rocking chair. You know, as you, as you drift off, they just start some knitting. Maybe pen a really badly informed letter to the editor. You know, and you wake up and you pay her and she's on the way. Isn't that nice? 
And, and not to mention a, a more definitive, kind of legitimate use of the term. What did you do this afternoon? I had a nana nap. Oh, she was smelled of lavender. It was lovely. Just imagine the call, you know. Oh yes, I, I'd like to, um, <clears throat> I'd like to order a delivery. Uh, yep, yep, one nana. Uh, I'm really in the mood for a Madeline or <clears throat> possibly an Ethel. <laughs> All out. What have you got? An Agnes. <sighs> she got a cardigan? Yeah, it's pretty good. Does it cost any extra if she's a little bit racist? <laughs> Dial that up. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Next Friday, I've actually got a Bucks night. Can I order the uh, Nana and Scones and Cream package? I'll let that sit with you. Have a good night, everyone. My name is Tim Cheers. <laughs>